Wade Smith, congratulations. You've made it to the final level of this competition, which means you get to face off against one of our expert judges for the opportunity to win $10,000. I'm thinking it's gonna be Ben. Last time I was here, Ben won and I lost, but this time, I'm gonna crush. You'll be competing against... Jay Nielsen. <laughs> oh, crap. Jay's got a lot of knife-making experience, but I've known him for 15 years. When he tested for his Master Smith rating, I was one of his judges. Hey, you my friend. When I see Bert, I'm tickled. Bert made one of the most beautiful finale weapons I've ever seen on Forged in Fire. I got my work cut out for me now. Gentlemen, in the final level of this competition, you'll be using these. 5160 coil springs. You must use a sand my technique utilizing your 5160 coil springs to make a match set of fighting knives. 5160 in the coil form can be difficult, but then when I have to make two blades and I have to make them duplicate, and then I have to do this against Burt Foster, then it becomes a challenge. I know Jay, his blades are gonna perform great, and I think mine are gonna perform great. I think it's gonna come down to small differences. I'm representing all of the guys who have sat under his critical eye and have thought to themselves, yeah, put yourself in my shoes and try it from down here. Me being on the floor, I can understand the compromises you gotta make. You know, you gotta make some sacrifices and shortcuts to get through. I just don't want anything to break because I will never hear the end of that. <laughs> oh, no. We obviously have an issue. <laughs> Master Smiths, welcome to the keel test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your dual fighting knives will do, I will take them and do some lethal blows to this ballistic dummy. Bert, you're pretty ready. I'm nervous, but that guy looks terrified. Let's do this. <laughs> I think my blades are going to have the long, pointy, quick geometry that's going to make them really effective against these ballistic dummies. I don't expect all the king's horses and all the king's men to be able to put this dummy back together when Doug's done with it. All right, Bert, first up, the feel of the blade real feels like a combat blade. It wants to thrust, it wants to slash. It just feels like one unit working in conjunction with the other. Overall, sir, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Jay, it's your turn. You ready for this? Do what you do, Doug. Going into testing, the only thing that really concerns me is those finger wells that I brought in too deep. Bert's blades are straight on, lighter. Mine got a little bit more of a curve, a little bit heavier. I think my blades are going to tear this dummy apart. Jay, these are choppers, slashers, as fighting knives. These are quite effective. And a fourth hip, no head. Your handle construction is interesting. That's a deep finger weld that you have in there. But actually, because you have the flare there, I'm able to control it. But more importantly, sir, your weapons will kill. Thanks, sir. Bladesmiths. To test the strength and overall durability of your edge and tips, as well as the overall construction of your blades, I'll be stabbing and chopping into these logs. Bert, you're up first. You ready for this? Let's do it. My one concern might be that the knife didn't sit in temper nearly as long as I would like it to. So the knife could be a little bit more brittle than I wish. My heart's racing. The whole blade could crack.
Yeah, well, could have been worse. Well, Bert, your edges look wonderful. During that extreme tip flex, your blades held up. Obviously, they're all still in one piece, and the handles are very comfortable. Great stabbers and great choppers. Well done. Thank you. All right, Jay, you're up. How are you feeling? Ready to go. Last chance for anything to break. <laughs> Well, Jay, your blades held up perfectly. But there's one thing about both these blades that I just really don't like, and it's that finger well. It put my finger so far out of the game that I was swinging with these three fingers. And this finger was rattling around in there and actually getting battered. But uh, there's no denying your edge and tips held up really well in this test, so congratulations. Thanks. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the sharpness test. I'll be taking your weapons and slicing into these bags. This test is all about what your weapons do to that target. Bert, you're up first. You ready? Yep, let's do it. Right off, Bert, I just love the look of these things. The aggressive point, the grind, the shape of the grind. As far as being sharp goes, they just passed through the bags. There wasn't any resistance to them at all. And I think you did a great job. Thank you. Hey, Jay. Now hey, I get to play with your stuff. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> All right, Jay, a lot of weight in these blades, but I like the shape of that chopping. I'm really familiar with this handle shape from you, but this is a lot deeper than you usually put it. My finger falls into that hole, and everything else kind of wants to follow it. The first two bags, the cuts weren't good, and that was really my hand position more than anything else. Everything just kind of bunches up. Definitely sharp blades, held up beautifully. Good job, man. Thanks. All right, judges, Jay Nielsen faced off against Burt Foster. Now I need you guys to tell me who's taking home the 10 grand and the win. What do you think? In the strength test, when I was using Jay's, this finger ended up banging against the guard because of that really deep finger well. It just didn't have any grip to it. Burt's knives, the handle for me, feels very, very comfortable. It's a light, fast blade, and it cut beautifully. Burt's blades here are lighter. It's faster in the cut, so we can move around with it. Jay's is a demolisher. This cuts so much deeper. OK. Have you guys made your final decision? Yes. All right. Gentlemen, the judges have deliberated. They've made their final decision. This has been an incredible competition between you two. It's been a long road for you, Bert. You've done a lot of work to get yourself back into a position to earn some money. Jay, you stepped into this forge, and you really put on a good show for us. But there can only be one winner, and that winner is. Bert Foster, congratulations. You've won, and that comes with a check for $10,000. Good job, brother. Thank you. It was a good challenge, good competition. Bert made beautiful blades. And if I'm going to lose to anybody, I'm more than happy to lose to Bert Foster. Good job, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm a master bladesmith, I'm a forge and fire champion, and I just beat a judge. Thank you. Appreciate it. I commend Jay. This was just millimeters apart. Man, we were neck and neck. Doesn't get any better than that. Group hug? Group hug. Uh, <laughs>